Whenever we talk about ovarian cysts, people always think about, you know, dangerous cysts or abnormal cysts. But the truth is, the ovary makes cysts as a normal part of its function. So let's talk a little bit about sort of normal ovarian function and how cysts play into that. And so the ovary really is responsible for a couple of things. The ovary makes the female hormones, but it also makes the eggs uh, that are ovulated and eventually come together with the sperm to make the baby. So how does the ovary form an egg? Well, first of all, at the beginning of the cycle, a bunch of little cysts start off in the ovary, and the eggs grow in those little cysts. Now, one of those cysts, for some reason, gets a little head start and sort of takes off and becomes sort of the chosen cyst. And it gets bigger and bigger until it gets to between one and two centimeters. And that's about the size that a mature cyst will have that has an egg that's ready to be ovulated. There'll be a signal from the brain to induce ovulation, and that cyst then will burst. The egg will be sort of spit out, and the fallopian tube is there to catch the egg. It goes down the fallopian tube where it hopes to meet up with the sperm uh, and become a baby. Now, in the meantime, that cyst, after it bursts, will close back up again, and then the cyst will remain, um, and that cyst is there to make hormone to support the baby if it's formed. If that egg does get uh, lucky and find the sperm and you end up pregnant, then that cyst becomes a corpus luteal cyst, which stays present, it's usually about two to three centimeters, until about 12 weeks of pregnancy when the baby's big enough to make the hormones itself. But that cyst is actually very crucial early in pregnancy to support the growing baby. And in fact, in situations where for some reason the, there's a problem and the cyst gets removed, hormones have to be given because there's no cyst there to make hormones. So in early pregnancy, a cyst is normal and in fact needs to be present uh, in the ovary, and that's called a corpus luteal cyst. Now what happens if you don't get pregnant? Well, then that cyst that's there to make the hormone um, starts to shrivel up, and eventually it shrinks and it goes away, and then the whole process starts itself over again. So that's the normal life cycle of the ovary. Uh, it basically makes a cyst. That cyst grows to about one to two centimeters. It bursts. The egg comes out. That's called ovulation. It seals back over and hangs out to see if there's a pregnancy. If there's not, then it goes away, and eventually the whole process starts again. Now, some things can go wrong in that process, um, and that's where abnormal cysts can develop. But you have to understand that if we do, for instance, an ultrasound on a woman and we see a one or two centimeter cyst, that's normal. And that's the way the ovary is supposed to look. So not all cysts are bad, and many smaller cysts are actually what we expect to see. MedTwice.com